What's up everybody, welcome to the channel, I'm Salty Sluggy. Now we didn't see any of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre at Summer Game Fest or any of the events, and then out of the blue, Gun Media and Sumo Nauticum just dropped a gameplay cinematic trailer, and I was just like, I've got to cover this. It actually looks really, really good. This is both comparisons of the film and the game running on Unreal Engine 5. They had an artist spend a lot of time on these. These look incredible. There'll be three maps to go up against your three killers. That will be the original house from the film, the gas station, and the slaughterhouse. They did give us some top-down images and a massive description regarding these environments, which we'll cover a little bit later in the video. We don't get to see all the environments in the trailer. We only get to see the house and gameplay through the house and under the house, I believe. But I'm really impressed by it, and it looks so current compared to Friday the 13th. It's night and day. But we're just going to move straight onto the gameplay trailer. I was just like, oh my god, I couldn't believe they dropped this. And it just looks so good. Compared to what we had with Friday the 13th, this is stepping it up a notch. You can definitely tell that they are fans of the Chainsaw Massacre. You see a locking door there, the cook locking the door, the freezer, creeping through cracks in walls, searching wardrobes, the hiker searching outside, switching off lamps, being chased down these underground tunnels, and she kind of looks like she's staggering, looking for them outside, and they're hidden in the bushes, pulling back that metal door to see Leatherface and getting a kill there, coming down the stairs and then getting hit by the cook. Looks so cinematic, looks a mixture of both cinematics and gameplay. The models are really good in this. Some kind of switch mechanism, Leatherface breaking through some locked doors, Grandpa with his hammer, the survivor jumping out the window like we see in the movie, and then just being chased down this fucking driveway by Leatherface and his chainsaw. I'm really, really impressed with this, I really am. I didn't know what to expect when we actually saw some gameplay, but I'm really, really digging where they're going with this. One of the major things we don't understand is how all three killers are going to operate within the game. Obviously, we know that Leatherface can kill, but what about the other two? Like, we know the cook doesn't like to kill, so maybe the cook can't kill, but what about the hiker? Because we see him slashing at the start of this trailer, so maybe his role is to wound them. Maybe survivors have to be in a certain state in order to kill them. It's hard to determine from this gameplay, even though it looks really good. And they got a long way to go because this game isn't coming out till next year. So there'll be plenty more updates about this game leading up to release and personally texas chainsaw massacre isn't actually one of my favorite franchises anyway but i'm really intrigued by this really am especially with the dynamic changing of three killers and four survivors you know instead of the original like one killer and so many counselors i think one horror icon that doesn't get enough limelight in my opinion is freddy i'd love to see freddy get his own kind of game like this maybe you're in the dream world or something like that It'd be nice for him maybe the license is too much i don't know and it'd be great to get robert back to do some lines because he's not getting any younger let's be honest so let's have a look at these top down view maps that they gave us first is the family house map you can see all the outside area look how much space there is to move around all this outside area that you can try to utilize somehow. We saw the victims hiding in the bushes. We don't actually see bushes here unless they are bushes or maybe they're trees, I, I don't know. I would assume they're trees. So you got the house interior with all the doors and then we have these squares with arrows, thick black arrows. I'm guessing maybe they're slide through bits like we saw in the trailer where she's sliding through the crack in the wall, like Tomb Raider style. And then we have these black areas which are gonna be underground parts that you've probably never seen before next up is the gas station as you can see that black area that underground area there's a lot of it and then there's above ground there's literally nothing above ground apart from a few cars on the edge on the right hand side a separate building to the top right which isn't that big to be honest it's kind of basic a few of those are black arrows as well as well as like an l-shaped black arrow so i'm guess it's got to be like these are places that you could s slip through maybe it's hard to determine right now though i know i'm going to enjoy the family house but i think the last one this one the slaughterhouse map looks to be the most intriguing of all three you've got cars on both edges you've got five buildings that are interconnected with each other with this underground area in the middle a lot of stairs as well, a lot of twists and turns. We do see a few of those thick black arrows in a few of the buildings. And then that top right hand corner, there's just nothing there. Maybe a few trees, bushes, and it seems you, you'll 
struggle a lot more in this especially like trying it out for the first time and stuff because you'll have to learn the layout i'm sure you can get lost in this one very very easily so they're the maps and that's the gameplay that we've seen so far i'm really intrigued to see more i hope you are as well stay tuned for more texas chainsaw massacre information coming down the pipeline that'll be it for the video i hope you enjoyed it if you did please support it with a like it helps out me and helps out the channel and i wouldn't ask you otherwise subscribe for more upcoming games you'll find other games on my channel if you want to check those out you'll find social links down below if you want to support in that space hit that notification bell and as always have a wonderful day i'll see you next time